Hey everybody, it's Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such, and what are we doing today? Well, we received this um, oyster mushroom mycelium. Um, Unexpectedly. Yes, and um, it has grown. We didn't get to do it. <laughs> when we wanted to. Yeah. Because of everything else um, we had some problems with our uh, well sewage basically because we do have sewage here we live close enough to the city that we do have sewage coverage but land shifting shifted our pipes so the sewage didn't want to go we had to dig up the whole yard to find that area and then we had to pull out old pipe, put in new pipe, and it's been uh, one heck of a process along with other other things that we need to do around the house, our bees and our garden and, and that's behind. <laughs> and the kids and it's just been one thing after another. But uh, we're gonna try to get this done and hope that we're not too late. I mean it it looks alright. For now. Um so, what I'm going to do, okay, we got this rye, wow. and I thought initially, okay, I know you're supposed to wash it and until it runs clear. Well, I thought, oh, I'll use this little colander that's got the little tiny wire until I opened the bag and seen this, which is going to probably go through that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> So, I had to pull out something I haven't used. It was new, so it's called, well, here it is. I'll just show you if the light will let you see. It's a micro jelly bag, basically, strainer bag, and here it is. But it's mesh. It's that micro stuff, and um, that should work fine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to measure this like my husband's seen on one of the videos. Okay, sorry about that, the battery went dead. He either read somewhere or saw it somewhere or something or another. We've on. all been doing yeah. <coughs> independent research on yeah. this. So he's seen where it said you wash it thoroughly to the water runs clear, then you're gonna soak it, I think it was for overnight, and then it's gonna swell up. So the way to measure that from what he read is it said if you take one quart of your seed, seed and wash it and then Let it soak, soak it. For it's 24 hours, I believe the guy yeah, said. Yeah, I think so. It will fill up three quarts. So I don't have quarts. I've got pints, but they are the wide mouth. But so I mean, I'm I mean gonna, a one to three ratio. Yeah, I'm going to measure it the same way. Should hopefully be the same one pint equals three pints after it's been soaking for a whole day. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash this. I've got big old trusty pot back here that I will put it into and soak it. And then we'll bring you back once that's done tomorrow. Yep. Okay, I thought I'd just show you how we're doing it. We put the seed in there and we're running the water through the bag. And it has been running brown looking, so that's really dusty seed. So that's probably why it's got to be clear. And so I just thought I'd show you that. So you just put it in something. They say a colander, but my colander the holes is too big in. Okay, guys, we let it sit overnight, and then we brought it to a bowl, and we. Cut, it, cut our heat down and we let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes covered and um, you want to tell them why the water's that color? Well I was going through the instructions on the website Fresh Caps and uh, it's telling about growing the mycelium uh, in the rye and it said uh, add a cup of coffee for uh, do something that does the pH, I guess it probably lowers it, saying coffee's acidic, but uh, says it helps get a, a bigger yield, sorry, my mind freezes up. 
It also mentioned using Jimson, but we did not have any Jimson, so we just used the coffee and uh, water. And so we're going to get ready and rinse or drain this. We just drain it, yeah. yeah. We're going to drain it and then we'll bring you back to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, we strained the seed and we've got it laid out here on a towel. It said that you could use a towel or a screen. Uh, we had a screen, but we didn't have anywhere big enough right now to put it. So we went with the towel and. Uh, we'll moving them around and let all the water it, evaporate. Yeah, we to let them stand until they're dry on the outside. Yeah, we've been moving it, and we're getting ready to do something else. I'll bring you right back. Well, we're gonna drill quarter inch holes in the top of the lids, and we'll put uh, what's that stuff called? Right here. And uh, this will be a breather hole to allow exchanges of gases for the mycelium to breathe. This is what you could stuff like a pillow with. I think they used to call it polyfill. I don't know. I don't the other see brand where was this. Called that, but this okay, was this is bag. the smaller bag. Okay, and that's what we're going to use. Okay, where are you starting? Mm -hmm. Uh, what I was asking him about was the size was that big enough and he said that's what they suggest. Okay, as you can see we did we took our some of our um, the stuff in the white bag, I forget what I called it now, polyfill that goes in a pillow. And just a little bit, we rolled it and we stuck it through the hole. So there is a little piece in there sticking out through that hole. Hopefully we done this right. If we didn't, please do let us know and um, we'll bring you back. Okay guys, we brought you back because we wanted to let you know that you have to watch right here on the inside of your lid where you poked your hole or drilled your hole. That's sharp and you could get cut if you mess with it. See how it is? It's really sharp and even here is sharp. So now he's going to show you how he's going to put the, the polyfill um, or pillow filament in there. Just uh, um, twist it up a little enough to get, get it started. Right okay. Twist it up a little enough to get started through the hole. And, okay. okay, he's just getting it ready. Mm, Get through somewhere you can pull it. And I don't worry about the length. I'll chop it off with some scissors. Okay, and you see the there's the top, so our can get through there, and then he's just gonna cut that right there so that it's not so long. Well, there you go. That's how we're gonna do the lid. Okay, we think it's dry enough. It ain't sticking together. And um, we're getting ready to pack the jars. It said two thirds to two thirds what now? It says two thirds to three quarters. Is that what the web, the site you looked on? Yeah, that's what okay. Fresh Cap says in the instructions. So I guess we'll go up here to ten, about okay. right here. Mm 
Okay, and then what do you do? Um, well, I should be I'm ready. trying to get in the view. Oh, I uh, thought you was meant shaking it down. No, then what do you do after? We just put the lid on it and we'll pressurize it here in a minute once okay. we get them all ready. I'll bring you back once we get it and ready to pressure. Okay, guys, we've got them. As you can see, filled up enough. We've tightened the lids, or my husband tightened the lids. And um, we've got our polyfill in place. Now it's time to put our tin foil, which we have here. You can see. And I'll bring you back. Oh, okay, as you can see, we've got two done. Now my husband's going to show you how we're doing them. Just taking them a piece of tin foil. And securing it all the way around, making sure it's good and tight, no holes. And we're going to hold. You see he mashed it good on the side so that it'll hold and the water won't push it up. We're about to, I guess, pressurize everything. We're going to see what the pressure uh, canner, pressure cooker, and uh, after I get sealed up, we'll set the setting for 15 psi, and we'll show you how to do that. You want to tell them how much water you put in here? Uh, I just put it up about three quarters way up on the jar because we're just wanting to pressurize it. We ain't wanting it over the tin full. Okay. If we can show you Wait. this type of can. Mm -hmm. I'll let him get the lid on, and I'll bring you back when he gets ready to put the thing on the top. Okay, we got it lined up. Locked in place. And this right here is set on like five. Then we add our weights to it to increase the PSI. We put the first one on it. That's 10. And this last one will bring it up to 15 PSIs. So let you know, I me. Mean, there we go. So we should be good. And 15's what they recommended, right? Yeah, that's what it's calling for in our instructions to pressurize them. At 15 psi for okay i'm sorry with my mind i had to go back and double check on the time limit it says to pressurize it at 15 psi for at least 90 minutes and we got a good pressure cooker here so we should well, be able to do that no problem and we'll bring you back okay well first off we want to thank we want to thank and if i'm butchering this name i'm so sorry but we want to thank Isaiah Tapia, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Do you think that's right, honey? Yeah. Because he is the one who sent us this wonderful oyster mushroom spawn that has done a job on this bag. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? We've got our jars done back here. If you can see them, they've still got the tin foil on them. We have done our hands in alcohol these have been done in rubbing alcohol and I guess we're going to start trying to do the actual mycelium and I have to see if I'm make sure that I'm picking this up for you I think he's going to try to remove the mycelium okay he got it yeah that's most of it. I just close that back up so no germs don't get in there. Okay. So I'm going to transfer that into an actual jar itself, that uh, seed. Okay, and it looks like some sort of seed, or that may be grain, actually. Mm, I was thinking it was millet. Yeah, it does look like millet. How many jars we got? Um, we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 jars is what I'm counting right here. And then I've got one over here for the actual millet. Let's see. 
Let me make sure that I'm kicking this up. I'll lower you a little bit so you can see what he's doing. He's just cutting it into pieces because when we received the little bag, it only had like a little chunk in it. And it spread. So, uh, like, a, like me and my son said, we were so busy and had so much going on with our sewage and everything that we did not get to do this as soon as we oh, sorry, I'm scooting that's there. fine i've got you in it as we wanted to therefore um it got put on hold and thankfully the mycelium kept growing just trying to make sure we got enough for all for the jars yeah i guess we'll stir this into them when we open them up or I don't think in. you can stir it. Well, I mean, I might can chunk it in there, but uh, the little pieces. How many pieces you got there? Uh, that one broke 14 or 15. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to do my hands yeah. again, and then I'll break it up in it. If you'll get a jar ready for me. Okay. No, I let them dry thoroughly. Oh, I am. Yeah, much. that feels, I know. Yeah, I'm letting them dry. Okay, I've done got them done, and they're drying. Okay. And what he's doing, I know I'm not showing you. Let me see if I can. There we go. He is just opening up the jar for me. Okay, he's got it open. My hands are thoroughly dry. Don't smell alcohol. Let me make sure. Okay. I'll just grab a piece. Uh, yeah. Don't matter which one. I guess not. Okay, let me make sure that they see what I'm doing. Yeah, got a good view. Still? Yeah. Okay, and I'm, I guess I'm just going to... That one hand's in the way. This uh, one? Yeah. I'm just going to break it into pieces. And then, can you stir it, you reckon? Or that's shake what... it? Couldn't you shake it? Yeah. I think that's what well, they do. I wouldn't do. shake it. I'd oh, probably just well, turn I... up some... Well, uh, light shake, I guess. I guess you could use that knife right there, because we sterilized that knife. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking, just do like a toss salad method where we're just bringing some up on top and getting some down well, the bottom. Well, yeah, I would like to mix it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's real spongy. Okay, I got that. Now I'm going to let him just kind of stir it around there. Good. So yeah, that should be. Hopefully, it got it into the bottom. I don't know. Yeah. We get a good seal on the lid. Right here. There's cotton vein in that, uh, is it? Yeah. Okay, it's all right, I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. I wasn't talking about that, babe. <laughs> there's what I was talking about, but you got it. Nevertheless, you got it. Okay, there's one. And we'll do another one on camera. And then um, I won't make you sit through doing all of these jars. I'll bring you back at the end and show you what we've done. Finished product. Yeah. So he's going to open this one up. And I'm going to break one up in it okay make sure you can see yeah that one hand's in the way again there you go awesome babe Mix it back and forth and work it down. There you go. There. 
think it got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, we will bring you back once we get all of these figured out. Okay, guys, we got them all done. As you can see, you can see it in that one. These two half jars here, what we did is we had a half a jar of rye grain in one. And then the other one was actually an empty jar. But it did get sterilized. Um, we actually put water in the jar and did it that way because it wanted to float if you don't. So it had to be heavy. Um, and then what we did is we split that half a jar of grain between the two and then we took the baggie that had the uh, what looked like millet seed and the mycelium and we split it between these two jars what was left in there and then we just mixed up the rye and the millet together if you can see it's a mixture hopefully I'm showing you um, and then we've got all these jars done we actually have over here the box that the jars came in so my husband's going to put the square jars back into there and we'll actually um, put them in there we've got um, a little closet type cabinet sort of thing that is where we're going to store these where it's cool and dark and they should like that really well so that got them and then all we've got is our three round pints here and my husband wants to talk to y'all let him get down towards uh, the camera we have some other videos if you're into mycelium we're doing a little bit of an experiment with our bees and our beekeeping videos uh, we've been watching Paul Stamets most of y'all probably familiar with him uh, uh, expert and mycelium and mushrooms and uh, he'd done a study on a different mushroom extract and bee feeds so uh, we kind of followed his lead and went with a reishi which he showed that uh, boosted their their uh, immune system to uh, diseases and stuff and also uh, in his study it showed it almost doubled their lifespan so we've uh, been putting a reishi supplement in our bee feed and Thought y'all might be interested to see how that turns out. And uh, y'all have a good day. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, if you like the video, do click subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Maybe share our videos if you like them. If you know anyone would be interested in them. Um, like my husband said, we are beekeepers. I'm a soper. Um, we have a variety of videos on our YouTube channel. It's not just one thing because we are a family of, <laughs> we like a lot of different crafts. And um, so if you like our videos, click subscribe, hit that little bell. That will notify you every time I upload. And have a great day. And happy beekeeping mycelium and whatever you may be doing today. Thanks for watching.